gasoline direct injection, GDI. We're looking at a unit right here. At the top is the high pressure pump. The top steel line there is coming from the low pressure system or the fuel tank. And then we have a steel line going down to the common rail. The common rail holds fuel for each fuel injector and the injectors are piezo stacked injectors. When we look at this cutaway engine, a picture that we took at the recent auto show, we can see the steel lines are spaghetti-like underneath the intake manifold. And this photo shows the same thing. Direct fuel injection, that means the fuel is not injected through the intake valve. It's directly injected right to the combustion chamber. The arrow is showing us where that fuel enters or the tip of the injector there on that cutaway cylinder. We have to consider two things, compression ratio and air fuel ratio. A higher compression ratio supplies higher power. If compression is increased too much, then we get engine knocking. A lean air fuel ratio offers better fuel economy, but a lean air fuel ratio increases oxides of nitrogen or NOx and engine NOx. Direct injection offers an answer by using three fuel strategies. We're going to discuss the stoichiometric mixture at moderate and light loads, the ultra lean stratified charge for steady light loads without any acceleration, and then richer mixtures during higher engine loads. The fuel is going to evaporate as it enters the cylinder. The evaporation of that fuel causes it to cool. The cooling effect permits higher compression ratios and that's going to give us higher torque. There's no knock because only air is being compressed. Remember, it's direct injection. So at low and medium speeds, only air is being compressed. At full load, the cooler air charge decreases the knocks.